Measure of variation. The range of a data set is the difference between the maximum and minimum data entries in the set. To find the range, the data must be quantitative. Therefore, range equal to maximum data entry minus minimum data entry. The population deviation which is called deviation of x equal to x minus mu. Mu is mu is population mean, therefore the population deviation equal to x each data minus population mean mu. Then the sample deviation is x minus x bar because x bar indicate sample mean as well. The population variance, which is called sigma square, which is equal to the sum of each entry mean deviation square over number of data. Similarly, the sample variance x square equal to the sum of each entry mean deviation square over n minus 1. You will see one difference compared to population variance and sample variance, which is the denominator here n, but here n minus 1. So what is the reason we have to subtract 1 from total number of data set for sample variance? The reason is the sample case, it is the power of population, therefore, this sample always cannot always describe population accurately, which means sometimes we need to adjust the sample data set, therefore, just make one empty space and then we try to adjust sample data set. We will talk about this part more detail when we talk about normal distribution and also hypothesis test. Now, the population standard deviation. It is, the notation is sigma that is equal to square root of the variance. The another formula, sigma equal to square root n times sum of each entry square times frequency minus sum of x times f square over n times m minus 1 as you see here and the sample standard deviation also apply the same method here as you see s equal to square root n times sigma x square times f minus sigma x times f square over n times m minus 1. Then now, why we have to learn both formula? Because we have this formula already, but now uh, there's one more formula is introduced. Of course, all this uh, data set, we can utilize this formula as well. Okay. However, some, this formula takes more space and then more time. But this one, even though it looks more complicated, we can calculate with a short amount of time. Therefore, nowadays, uh, we want to find out the standard deviation using this formula. Okay, then uh, let's find the population variance and standard deviation using previous data. Now look at this data please. So first step we will do, we want to generate all the data set on the first, first column which is a data entry. So 19, 20, 21, 22, 22, 23, 25, 30, 
35 and 35. Okay, now we need to find the mean value. So you know how to find mean value of it. So if you add all the data set, it will come out 252. So mu equal to 252 over 10. Therefore, this becomes 25.2. Okay, so uh, the second column, the first entry, uh, x minus mu, there will be 19 minus 25.2. Good, 19 minus 25.2, which is negative 6.2. Please pause this video for a second and then complete all the calculation and restart this video and check check your data please. After calculating all this mean deviation, you will get those differences. Uh, between 19 and 20, uh, 25, you will have negative mean deviation value and from 30 through 35, you will have positive mean deviation value. Then what is the mean deviation? Mean deviation means distance from the mean value, basically. But unfortunately, mean deviation value only describes each data set. Therefore, sometimes you want to compare multi data sets, but that's not possible using the mean deviation because mean deviation only describes each data set by data. Therefore, in this case, you need to find another deviation value which is called the standard deviation. Then, before finding